Warriors Season 7 of Warrior. The only reality show where war, celebrities, and laser-tipped battle axes come together in a zero-G combat arena to the death. Since season 7 of Warrior, the only reality show where war, celebrities, and laser-tipped battle axes come together in a zero-G combat arena to the death. Since season 7 of Warrior, the only reality show where war, celebrities, and laser-tipped battle axes come together in a zero-G combat arena to the death. Hello, hello. Give me a moment here. Since season 7 of Warrior, the only reality show where war, celebrities, and laser-tipped battle axes come together in a zero-G combat arena to the death. No, no. Oh yeah, I forgot to hit a button. Uh, <laughs> nope, that ain't it. Oh, <laughs> scared the shit out of me. <laughs> there was a. being interrupted by fart with reverb. There we go.
my thing broken? <laughs> nope, there we go. Spreading the links around there, very thing moment. Dean, you just walked into people pretty much spamming fart with reverb and pipe because Mayor Hagar is currently in the room, it seems. Yeah, y'all's point's gonna get some fucking use today. God damn. Well, the, the worst part is y'all are using the points. Y'all are y'all are using the points before y'all could even see other functions that should be active right now, but isn't going to load until the actual gameplay screen is in view. So y'all are y'all are burning the shit like right now, while it could be you know being burned a little bit more or burned on funnier stuff <laughs> oh shit okay I'm, I'm actually doing some final uh, last second tweaks here that uh may interfere with the avatar i gotta make sure that's incrementing correctly it's one more person Where are they? Corpnet presents season seven of Warrior, the only reality show where war, celebrities, and laser-tipped battle action. God, if something breaks right now, like I'm seeing what's happening right now, son of a bitch. If something breaks catastrophically, I'm gonna be extremely pissed. Something else, something more fitting. Oh, did I just hit pause? Are you serious? No, we're doing that. Oh, it's not letting me drag it. There we go. Okay, it has officially been, the button has been unlocked and Making sure everything I just saw, I, a fucking rendering lag drop. Son of a bitch. Alright, ignoring that. One last thing to make sure everything's good to go. <laughs> I will keep teasing it. <laughs> nah, hello, hello, everyone. <laughs> I gotta be, uh, is this even catching over correctly? Vod track down. It Tanuki! It's the Tanuki! Yes, this has been the thing that I've been teasing for a while now. But yes, hello everyone. Say hello to the new little avatar thing. And yes, a creature has entered the fray. Front face into nuke. 
with the frequency y'all are using pipe I'm actually probably gonna find a way to get an animation to throw the pipe at my avatar. But yes, here comes the new creature! Hello everyone! I actually haven't even tested the game, that's how anxious I've been about this. But, yeah! This is the boy! <laughs> this creature is the... Hold up, I gotta do it right. This creature is demonic in nature. Yes, he's quite the mischievous one. <laughs> but yes, I, I hope y'all are enjoying it, actually, because, like, again, I'm extremely anxious right now about this. Yes, there is multiple expressions. Like I said, this is actually, um quite a bit of work and things like that has been in works <laughs> time, time time for the hacker combo yeah okay look okay i'm i'm going to i'm going to be real with y'all right now if hagar is not in street fighter 6 i'm actually going to be kind of disappointed with the rate that they've hyped him up like, it's it's going to be really awesome if they do do it, and I hope they do actually do it, at least in Season 2, since we already had Season 1 at it. And, uh, there will be a Street Fighter 6 stream at, at some point. It does, it does smack of guess who will be in the, uh, DLC pack. And if he does, he, he better be the beefiest hitting motherfucker. Or at least a boss character. Oh, thank you. Uh, P uh, Piff Doodle absolutely killed it with this. Oh yeah, no, he he's got it. He's got to hit hard. He's got to hit hard. Okay, M's functional. Okay, cool. But yes, and just to give a little bit of extra expression, uh. <laughs> Just to give a little bit of extra expression uh, practice going here, we're going to be also playing uh, Dreg, which is going on in the background with noises that startled the shit out of me. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, cool. It actually has a pa uh, pause end screen. All right, cool. But yes, there there is... Two, three, four, five. At least six expressions, and I plan to get some more at some. Thank you. Uh, I plan to get more uh, more at some point to try to close the gap on what defines a PNG tuber and a VTuber. I do plan on working with Piffle to actually teach her, or at least work with her to get a uh, VTuber thing figured out. And uh, yeah, the, the game is basically about Eldritch Nightmares. Yeah, pretty much. But yeah, I'm planning on working with Piffle to uh, figure out like whether or uh, how AP and G Trooper thing will go down, because I'm 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 genuine I'm genuinely tired of people just being like, yeah, it's it, it's just it's just complex. It's way way too advanced for most people. But yeah, it, it I I've yeah I mean, so here's the thing. I've actually had I've actually done some research into it all. It's not nearly as much work as people say it is. It's it's literally just a PSD file converted into a proprietary format that is injected into uh, a Unity-based skeleton rig, and then worked from there. And that's one of the big reasons why I'm actually really frustrated about how a lot of uh, Yes, it's it's here. Hold up, we'll we'll do we'll do the correct one. There you go. <laughs> okay, yeah. So uh, there there will, probably will be a, v, a VTuber avatar at some point in the future uh, that will actually be a little more complex, but it's going to be a lot more work and testing. Put him in the chair. It's not active yet. I don't know how that's gonna. I don't know how that's gonna behave with the, the scene not active. 
but... <laughs> Yeah, the, the software is expensive, and making good ones do, does need a, lo a lot of understanding of actual animation, or at least uh, 3D animation. And I'll, I'll be learning how to do rigging on my end. So when I look, the jar will look, the jar will come here in a moment. Uh, I'll be learning how to do rigging over the next uh, few months, and seeing if I can get a few practice unit uh, practice models that people just don't want a general use for and see if I can figure out how rigging generally works. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this tabbed over there. There, now now the, now the jar will work. As all the bits just rain down aggressively. Now you can test the jar, because I do actually want that tested. Yeah, the, uh... <laughs> Oh no. Oh god. I'm in the jar. Oh my god, did that break already? Oh, hold up, I think that- I think that actually broke. Yeah, thank you, Sophia. I actually would love that. Also, I think my Sonic 06 loading... Oh, oh, wait. Yep. Two words. Is it going to load again? Or did it just full-on break incorrectly? <laughs> okay, I may actually have to disable the Sonic, Sonic 06 loading. That actually is broken right now. Yeah, I... Didn't want my PNG tuber to t overtake Naya while also not overtaking gameplay. I may s start increasing the size slowly. It was faded. Yeah, in, in the spirit of Sonic 06, the Sonic 06 meme fucking breaks. Which is, nope, nope, there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> It fucking it, it broke it broke in the weirdest way possible. Oh no! The Sonic 06 load broke just outright in the best way possible, where I think it may actually just randomly load now. <laughs> Okay, did it actually unbreak itself? I I am gonna get some feedback from y'all on where the fuck is the PNG tuber thing? On uh the general size, so hold off on the jar stuff for a moment, which I will be tweaking live as well. Uh out of the jar, in the jar. There we go. Is this, a, is this a more of a comfortable size? I don't want to. I don't want to put too much into into gameplay there. Okay, perfect. All right, so uh, I've actually been wanting to play this game for quite a bit here, and I figured now, like, why not just use the stream to do that? The de the debut uh, the debut stream quite a bit. Oh, I also need to correct my Naya art real quick. There we go. See, now now I can actually push him over a little bit more. There we go. I get like a tiny Kodama uh, Nezumi to throw throw in when I get gets voice with two frames of animation. Uh, you know what? Absolutely. I will I will set that up for you. I will more than happily set that up for you. Angler wanted. We going fishing. The fog is coming. The fog is coming. The fog is coming. The fog is coming. 
gotta tweak you down a little bit. There we go. Angry, angry little pufferfish rats. You got you gotta show me that because I might not have seen it before. Maybe tight a bit bigger. All right, let me get that. Much better. It's gonna give it a little bit more size. And I'm gonna have my feed up here. Y'all can hear the game just fine. Looks like it's going through just fine. Alright, perfect. The, mo the morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Ah, welcome to Great Mow! I must say, quite a dramatic first impression. I see you've introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Yeah, that's... It... I've been uh, working, talking with another person that's been like, yeah, the hardest part is getting everything right. And once everything's right, it gets a lot easier. Do you not see the did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Now ah, well, I'm glad to see our new fishermen upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. Perhaps a loan. A debt. A tanduki debt. Wait, hold on. Yeah, that that's just Streaming layouts in general. I'll let you out, uh, get out there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Finally, I don't suppose we, I need to say this, but get, uh, but get back by sundown before the, uh, before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. Yeah, it does kind of look like a World of Warcraft goblin, minus the other <laughs> full of wicked Bassan chowder. Is that a baby whale? <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm going to be like struggling to back and forth on the expressions here, but I'm, I'm, I'm mainly doing this game m the most out of practice. Okay, so we have an engine and a fishing rod. It turns, out, it turns out everyone is afraid of the frog and not the fog. Yeah, I can totally see that. <laughs> Alright. Oh, you just gotta full on hold this. The frog is coming, the frog is coming, the frog is coming. <laughs> yeah, Zofia, I actually have, like, a, uh, messed on of hotkeys. When, now, now that this debut is done, like, on, in progress, I'll start sharing around, uh, the configuration setups and have, like, full transparency on how to get all this going so that other people can do it as well so I can at least start trying to help break this like not everybody can do this because it's too difficult because it really wasn't that difficult it was just time consuming and has a lot going on fishing mini game the game ooh blue macro yeah it, it, it the, the getting getting a Working setup is super easy. Getting a complex setup like I have is not as easy, but it helps to know. And I, I, again, I plan to share the information once the stream is done. 
Oh my god, did we really, are we literally doing the, the, uh... And yeah, I have, I actually have a second, uh, stream deck for this exact reason. Also, are we really doing, uh, res the fucking Resident Evil attache ca uh, case? Fucking... Inventory management? Yes, we are. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, no, Zofia, the XL is absolutely worth it. We got some more fish. God. More cod. I'm actually having. <laughs> so if you're probably wondering why I'm going silent here, I'm actually. <laughs> Oh dear God, uh, I'm, I'm actually working on a slight stream delay, so I'm having to anticipate ahead of time. We're just gonna fish more from the bay. These look like eels, actually. Oh, well, I can't do anything with this. I don't have the right equipment to do this spot. All right, well, no eels for me. More mackerel! Also, the camera's really snappy. Oh my god. <laughs> when the fish... <laughs> when, fi uh, when the fish kiss the homies have no excuse. Or when the fish kiss the homies have no excuse. Exactly. Oh my god. All right, hold up. Perfect. Attach a case the fish. Attach a case the fish. <laughs> oh no. The fish are fighting. <laughs> Also, Joe, I know I, <laughs> I know you're you're absolutely probably not seeing too much joy in this game, considering you don't like mini games. Oh, okay, hold up, gotta return to, to port. Ayo, ayo, what's with that eye? Um, <laughs> he sees me. The fuck was that? Eastern Scarlet Eyes are they're in season for summer. Yeah, no, absolutely. I'm just perfectly right. <laughs> you step in onto the to the dock at the uh, uh, Greater Marrow. The mayor is waiting nearby. I see you return in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss a matter of your boat. It's the allergies they really irritate uh, them eyes. The, the, the ripe ocular fucking uh kagura i don't know if it's vanilla this this is like tangential here i don't know if it's vanilla but either one of the mods that i have in a rim world or it got added recently added uh ocular anima trees and i'm just kind of like yo what <laughs> i'm hoping to either encounter one or grow one I'm pretty sure it's a mod. Ocular anima trees. Yeah. So in Rimworld, there's these uh, trees called anim... Oh. I'm in a jar now. 
So, uh, to explain better... <laughs> yeah, anima with an A. Not anima. Anima. Ocular anima trees. <laughs> I, I will be adjusting the jar time a bit, a bit longer. I butt tree. Oh, yes, as into animus. Uh, using it usually involves losing your insight. But uh, I, I, I haven't found the one yet. Supposedly, uh, the Real Ruins mod at, uh, recently added some stuff that actually adds explorable city ruins to the map. So I'm gonna actually try to like go and find one. I might do a RimWorld stream in the in the future, actually, because that just sounds like it'd be fun after a while. Just a real all real good calm all day stream. <laughs> meanwhile, <laughs> killer enema give you insight. <laughs> Anyways. As mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you re uh, that replacement vessel, yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, but we'll consider it a loan. But I want to make this easy for you. Hmm. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales would go towards paying it off. Oh my god, it's literally Tom Nook. A free colonoscopy and, and Bloodborne, it fits. Yeah, no. Yeah, DM it to me. I actually will be having you on for a RimWorld stream. And we will be doing Randy Random. Anal <laughs> fish are not a... Anal <laughs> fish are not a colonoscopy. That's so good. Okay, yeah, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards improving the town. So to recap, you'll need to sell fish to the local market, paying off your uh, paying off your debt, and in turn keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understand? Selling fish sell, uh, helps pays off my debt. Got it. Off you go then. Sell those fish while you're still fresh. While they're still fresh. You went to a squalid shack on the fridge. Uh yeah, on the fr fridge. Yes, we're gonna enter a fish shack in the fridge. You enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz hap flies buzz haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. Hmm. Got a new fisherman, eh? Surprised he found a new one so fast. The fuck happened to the other one? He. It takes a certain type of person to lash out here. It's not a, li a life for everyone. Anyways, to business. I'll pay for for fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. <laughs> it's just is this shrimp fresh? Aqua farm. <laughs> Some some species are worth more than uh, more too. Other towns on the on other islands might pay you different, but well, you've still got a debt uh, outstanding here. I suggest you work on paying it off first. Hmm. All right, so we're selling off the fish that we got. Oh, all right. Well, all fish has been sold. Just like that. Shrimp! Heaven! Now! <laughs> the man standing outside the fishmonger's door. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here. I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you could uh, make use of something. Uh, make... You could... Ah! Can't speak today. Okay. 
Uh, could it make use, or yeah, could make something out of it. Why don't you take a look? That is research mark. Oh, one last thing. A local shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. Oh? Why, hello? As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hole. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. Ah. Oh, got our first quest. Perfect. You must be a new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is up... Uh, payment is up front. And everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take any damage, uh, any damage on uh, from the rocks or any uh, damage at all, I can patch it up. Mostly. She drags and gestures towards the hole she's currently attempting to repair. The wooden boards and well are all well above the waterline are splintered and scratched. Take a look around. Just remember, the bigger the ship, the big, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install. So plan ahead. Oop. Don't know where the space bar just went. Okay. So we got simple skimmer and... Oh, yeah, we actually do need that. Boom. Oh, so that's just a good way to pass the time. Oh, no, okay. I'm, I'm seeing the uh, installation slots here. Also, I'm doing my best to keep up with any point things that get used. Some of them are, or may or may not work, but do not hesitate to abuse them. Okay, so that's... Also, since the uh, idea of idea, I think uh, sleep would be a good idea here. Whoop! In the jar again! One of these days, one of these days, somebody's gonna punctuate, put him in the jar with, uh, I need to adjust the outside the jar thing real quick. So hold up, let me correct that. I'm gonna wait for that to, uh, complete. Okay, outside the jar. Grab her. Expand her size. There we go. Just make her take place of the PNG tuber when it's active. Boom. Perfect. And <laughs> make the small bigger. I mean, she's already bigger in the jar as it is. I could probably make her even bigger still. Just, you know. Oh. <laughs> the timing on that. <laughs> yeah, she's. she's Fuck it, now you just took over as a streamer. Fuck it. <laughs> Gotta wait for that. <laughs> See? Boom. There. Now she barely fits in the jar. Oh, where, where she just takes over as a streamer for a bit? Or make the the small Naya even bigger, because I, I I actually do have the foundation for that. That that is actually in progress. That'll be coming in future streams. Also, welcome home, Becky. <laughs> Free her. Release her. <laughs> okay, so I do need to upgrade a uh, fishing speed. Make a version that uh, that's looking like a statue. Ooh. So there is technically... I think that button's enabled. I'm going to demonstrate it real quick. There is a button that does technically do that. I'm going to adjust the points for that right now. But there's this. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
I'm gonna adjust the points for this one. Is it gonna, is it gonna work? I, I, oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, give me a second. I'll adjust the points for that one to make it a little more uh, accessible. Keep in mind that all these point values are gonna be adjusted over the next couple of streams. Uh, what was the other one? Boom. Okay, that should be adjusted now. The look of uh, you get when you ask, Hey, so can I pay off those bills next month? Just like... No. Get out allowed. Oh, the 50k one. Uh, so that one is probably going to remain 50k for a reason. Uh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so the cut to the Tanuki's room is actually something that I think is functional. Let me confirm that real quick. Yeah, it just sends you to this. It pretty much stops all gameplay, or at least would stop me from doing gameplay for a moment, and just go, Hi, how you doing today? You're looking lovely. Just just a little mano a mano, you know. You want a compliment? Did I get... Oh no! Hold up. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much the talk time. Yeah, it's, it's the just chatting view. Hold up, there's something I didn't set up that needs to get corrected real quick. Uh, which we're going to be doing that live on stream. It, it is functional, I think I just forgot to enable it. Yeah, okay, it wasn't added. Good time to cut to the room, eh? Execute flow, pet pet. To the synthwave zone. This is actually a... Uh, Hold up. Let me let me get this corrected real quick, and I'll actually show off this uh, background. It's it's actually a scene from Cloud Punk, and it is a little bit of a spoilers, by the way. So if you haven't completed Cloud Punk, this is gonna spoil something for you. Uh, okay. Add new customer board. That one is Did the Tanuki room break? Oh, it did. Oh, that broke. Okay, hold up. Let me correct that real quick. Two minutes. That explains so much. Okay. That has been. <laughs> that caught me off guard. Okay, so I'm going to uh, do a live test of one of the things that literally just got uh, set up. Nope. Fuck. Well, now you're now it's just petting the chin. I gotta wait for that to finish. Actually, no, I'll just edit it live. Fuck it. There we go. Perfect. All right, that should function now. Okay, that's the last of the uh, point redeems that should be functional. Or that is currently fully deployable. Alright, uh, let's hit some rest. Also doing lurk, alright. Well, enjoy, enjoy the stream still. 
Drunk li uh, link into stream. Uh, let's see. Send it to Nexus, and Nexus will post it, just to make sure uh, bad links aren't posted. I trust all y'all, so it, I need to correct that real quick. But just go ahead and send it to Nexus, or, or send it to me, and I'll send it over. So I'm going to check the Discord real quick. Oh, yeah. Okay. Kagura. So, uh... That one, I think, is slightly behind. I'll see if I can get that one going, though. Oh, I'll link the friend, friend to the stream. Okay, fair enough. Hey, thank you. Okay, that's all good to go. That's all good to go. Check, 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 check. All right, cool. We in there. More fish time. Time to go fishing into the... Relative abyss. Perfect. More fish caught. More fish caught. I'm just going to try to max out every single one of these spots until there's nothing left. That spot has been depleted. So outward we go. That just looks like a bunch of flounders. Yep, it, it was precisely what it was. We catching more flounders. Alright, that's... Uh, I think we got room for one more. Boom. Alright. On to the next one. But yeah, thank you, Becky. This, this may not be super eventful at first, and I may actually go out of my way to make things eventful soon. What? Oh, it's mixing it up. Oh, you're fucking long as fuck. Uh, fair enough. Goat flounder is like, how can you mess up swallowing? Uh, <laughs> easily. Uh, that's the mackerels. Uh, we may be out of time. Okay, that's for the encyclopedia. Choke on a sip of water. Yeah, no, I'm just fish sitting there just like... <laughs> 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 Alright, uh... Yeah, thank you. Oh, why is that sparkling? A floating buoy. It serves to mark passage... There's safe passage past dangerous rocks that and obscured hazards. A dim light also provides a brief respite in the gloom of the night. Ah. More or less telling you, hey. The, the lights mean save. Gotcha. I've had a special order come through for from a customer. If you can feel it, I'll pay you above normal prices. <laughs> they asked for one a uh, gulf flounder and one gray eel. Just bring them in when you have them. Oh shit! I already have that. Did you hear about the old wit witch with the giant walking ship? I don't know what. Go on. Mm. 
<laughs> Baba Booey was her name. That's the worst. Oh, that's so bad, but so good. What they do with the rod, they can handle the shallow water in order to catch those. The shipwright should be able to sort that out for you. We already have that. Have you got any? Have you got any fish for that order? Totally making that a character in our game. You have to. You absolutely have to. Boop. And... Fish wobble physics. The fishmonger... Uh, the fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. Good. Good. They should be pleased with these. I've got another order here. This one's a little more curious. They want a couple of squid and a whole black grouper. Or groper. Grouper? Groper. I've never been 100% sure on them. I don't see many people fishing squid these days. They only feed at night, and, well, you know what nights are like around here. Good luck. I don't know how you do it all there every day. These old bones wouldn't wouldn't cut it on the high seas. Yeah, well, <laughs> we're just gonna sell them all for sixty nine for ninety nine. All right, so that's good to go. We just need to. Oh, we're almost done with the ship loan already. What the fuck? All right, well, let's keep dropping in fucking upgrades. Fuck it. We got engine and I forgot how long I said that. The joke was supposed to be I talk between the loading screens. But holy fuck, that's long. It really is. Oh, there we go. No, no, no. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the reason why it exists. I, need, I just need to tweak it. Because, you know, once it's tweaked it, and... It, it should actually work better and make the joke funnier where I just have to stop like probably mid sentence or just give a really short explanation and then it just go just stops me any freaking second now so it could be funny it is blue bowling me I gotta tweak that there it goes Let's do 15 seconds. <laughs> just, just, just right in the middle of her doing repairs, just fucking the sound of a pipe being thrown across the room. <laughs> uh, this is why I have double fucking Steam Deck here. Damn. Just fucking re mid-repair. She's just like, fuck this! That would be amazing. <laughs> oh, I need... I, I need one of those fucking double height fucking steam deck or stream deck uh holders oh in the jar again oh no oh no wait 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 <laughs> oh no what are you gonna do with the jar <laughs> I 
I'm, I'm so happy y'all are using these uh, these actions that I set up. They they were a pain in the ass to get perfect. Some of them still require some tweaking. So I'm having to do a lot of adjusting here on the fly. Which I, I was told by another uh, by a uh, VTuber that I talked to that like she, even she has had this had to just do random shit bitch stream all the time. So this this is just the the debut growing pains. Okay, so I need to up so that's up to seven finally. Also, y'all are y'all are draw, drawing ever closer to that to the first milestone for the first uh, points to the maiden event. All right, let's see. Oh, hey, uh, bits bite size sailor. Thank you for the follow. And it begins. Uh, for, for those who played Dragon Quest, I think it was eight. It was seven or eight that that sound file is from. Uh, Y'all are probably going, oh, you're really using that right now. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think it's seven as well. I'd have to check my uh, my sound archive. Let me tweak the tanuki in the jar event as well. Up that to 40 seconds, just so that's even f uh, more fun. Uh, so that's the weird thing about the, about uh, a lot of the PS2 Dragon Quest games is they're technically not MIDI. It's actually a sound file. It might be from the, it might be a sound rip from the Japanese version and not the international one. All right, the uh, Tanuki and Jar event should, or uh, action should be a good bit longer now. I upped it to 40 seconds because that's, it's a little too short for it, for it to be all that fun. And these can be some. A lot of these events can be repeated. There is a queue, so you can spam them, and they will stack up in a queue. So if you wanted to just like perpetually keep me stuck in the jar, you could just go ape shit with it. In fact, I I, I hope it happens in the future, just so I can see the queue break, because I don't know how big the queue is. I don't have any access to that. Okay. Probably should have a warning. Getting stun locked in the jar. Absolutely. fucking lootly. <laughs> I'm inside the jar. <laughs> I, I can ma I can make this very weird for y'all right now if y'all really want 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 to do this. Uh yeah yeah give me a moment I'll I'll tweak that right now because that does make me hard to see. Uh, in the jar there we go. It's gonna size adjust. If I, get, if I get too big, my butt starts coming out of the jar. Oh there we go. I mean. The goal is you're supposed to uh, shower me in things to fill the jar and drown me. So you gotta give me the bit cummies. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that's the whole, like, that's probably gonna get me fucking toss warned, but that's the whole joke with the jar is... We're now testing the load screen. Oh, 
Okay, no, that, that still needs to be tweaked. Okay, I might have to temporarily disable that until I figure out a good way of doing it. Because I think the Sonic 06 loading is broken. You just have... You just have a point to stall us out the stream for you. What do you even need me on the mic for anymore? <laughs> yeah, no, like that that's the whole punchline with the Sonic 06 loading is to just jokingly stall the entire stream. Let me get some quick. Boom. Upgrade. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna temporarily disable the Sonic 06 loading, because that needs to be, uh, tweaked quite a bit there. Also start, well, have fun making food for yourself there, uh, Kax. Oh, we're up to nine. I gotta adjust the default value actively on stream so it, uh, maintains. Or maintains between reboots. You can keep me in the jar for a while. Perhaps that's what I want. Hunched woman approaches you from the steps of the lighthouse, or to the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and, and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Uh, why are you here? I need to fix the blinking of that. I'm still figuring out the uh, visual programming logics. Yeah, it, I need to tweak it so it like actually is funnier. It, like it needs to be shortened significantly without breaking the uh, the load times. Like it, it's obnoxiously low. <laughs> Thank you, Becky, for the 100 bits. Here they fucking come. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Thank you, Becky. <laughs> it fell in a jar. Oh, here comes more. See, see what you gotta do is the individual one, so it's just a big rain of things. <laughs> April. April. Why are you here? Uh. I've come to fish. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. I really need to fix the, the flickering. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to light. Or lighthouse. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, finally getting, giving you all reason to fuck around with the bits. I love it. I, f I, I do not regret this. I do not regret this in the slightest bit. Oh, I may cause some frame drops here. Oh, yes! Thank you, Sophia, so much. Thank you. Oh. Also, also, yeah, I'm getting... Christopher! <laughs> Uh, yeah, the Finding New Fisherman has definitely given me a Graveyard Keeper, uh, tell us the new key is too clumsy to work, <laughs> work a pole, you can be honest. I mean, well, it, it, it's, 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 it's Naya getting pet now, fuck. <laughs> as long as I'm in the jar and she's out there, she's the one getting the head pets. Okay. Let's see. Let's talk to the mayor because he has something to say. That's the person I was hoping to see. Will you, uh, will you be sailing out east towards Little Marrow? 
Will you give the pa this package to the dock worker there, please? Uh, sure. He's in there. <laughs> he's in. He's in there, and she's out there. But I just remember she's out here, and he's in there, and he's the sheriff. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad he's out there, and I'm in here, and he's the sheriff, and I'm the sheriff, and now we weed. <laughs> oh my god! Thank you for the pit, Sophia. Also, uh, Limani Fresh, thank you for the follow. Hopefully you're enjoying this, uh, late, late, late wait shit show, but also this comedic f drown me in, in the jar situation. Good fucking god. What I want to know is where there's a chowder. The dark worker will pay you upon delivery. Be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. Alright, well. We're off to doing the delivery then. We're off to see the whatever's out here. Yeah, I again, I plan to tweak the, uh, let's see, what button was it that did the camera? There we go. Okay, so that's just across the bay. Also, the eye that appears is clearly your uh, Vicene meter. Might as well. It definitely serves a purpose. Not 100% sure what it is yet, but it serves a purpose. The SS Clear Eyes. Ben Stein um, piloting it. Hmm. What? <laughs> wow. Hmm. What? A delivery. Let's see here. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though, as though he's shielding it from your view. Hmm. Nice and fresh. This'll do nicely. I'm to pay you, I suppose. He hands you a $25 bill. You stare at him. He stares at you. You stare at him. He stares at you. And then he gives you the look. And then life goes on. Hmm. I was given this old... Sophia! It's going to become. T <laughs> oh, I may, I may be drinking some room temperature tea here in a moment. <laughs> yeah, I need to hydrate. Hold up, but this is the most I've laughed at, laughed in a long time. I needed this so much. Becky! Holy fuck! Oh my god, this jar. This is the fullest this jar has ever been in so fucking long. something. <laughs> okay, thank you. Sorry, I gotta hydrate. My throat's already fucking destroying me. <laughs> thank you all so very much for the bits. Oh, had a, mo had a brief moment of seeing the Avatar. The debut where the Tanuki just does not see the light of day from the jar. No, no! <laughs> Thank you, Sophia, for 30 more. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, Wait, where's the button? <laughs> yeah, it's a metaphor for capitalism. <laughs> oh, 
I oh 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 my god that that is hell oh here comes fifty. Thank you, Sophia. So does it drop fifty individuals or does it drop? Yeah, it just drops a one heavy one. God, that's a lot of bits. Thank you so very much. Also, I love that we could just see Naya vaguely there. Only 200. That's... Hey, look. It, every little bit counts. Don't, don't devalue the amount you've contributed. Like, it's appreciated. I feel like the queue broke also. Probably. I don't, I don't know the maximum length of this queue. I, I need to actually tweak it quite a bit. Uh, hold on. Let me check the... Let me check the uh, log real quick. Oh shit, congrats, Sophia. You actually did uh, break the queue. I saw a uh, log has log file has been sanitized, which means that the logging, which means that the system had to do a quick reboot. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, you're stress testing it at least. I, I, I have I uh, I have other things on the way. This is just a uh Yep, that broke. Okay, hold up. That broke. Uh we're gonna do that real quick. One moment. Okay, no, it, it corrected itself at the last moment. Hold on, let me get you a real Tanuki time for that one, a free one. There you go. There we go. Crudely edited Tanuki time. One free one. Yes! Hold on, when it, when it resets, I mean, that's what we're here for. Exactly, and I appreciate y'all showing up for this. Hey, there we go. Uh, become a real Tanuki. Let me adjust the flow for that real quick. So that technically sent the wrong note, and I don't know why. Uh, it sent note for one, so I need to do note zero. So I get to data zero all right i'm gonna give this one more test live on stream here because something didn't work as intended but that's just no oversight by me there we go and yes yeah absolutely break it as much as possible so you see so i can know what fixes it nope oh, tanuki in the jar now i have no clue how this is gonna work Okay, perfect. Make use out of it. Sustainable fishing added to the uh, Charnuki. <laughs> yep. Yep, I'm back in the jar. <laughs> You're probably going to see a shit ton of points again. <laughs> So a lot of cats looking at the uh, the moderator side right now, and uh, she's seeing that there's a shit ton of point redeems she's got to clear through. It it could be saved till the uh, the end of the stream. Yeah, and I appreciate I appreciate the follow. He pulls a crumpled book from the from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of pa a number of pages are folded over. Keep it in your keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat anytime. Sorry to fly off the handle like that. Hmm, I get a little moody. I know how lonely it can be. Wow. Nope. Oh. In the jar again. Laimani Fresh is putting me in the jar, queuing it up. Yes. Drown me. What? 
<laughs> I'm escaping. <laughs> it's like the Scrooge McDuck money pit. <laughs> yeah, it might be more than five when it's when it breaks. Uh, I'm looking for the event for that. Yep. So that so that's the non deck in uh queue. I have a different uh event queue on my because it's it's all managed on a different uh system, which I'm gonna be adjust uh correcting soon actually. Yeah, no, I appreciate you checking on it. Anyway. No, it, it's me troubleshooting the matter. L the Tanuki comes out of it low poly. Oh, that would be amazing. Just comes out looking like uh, low poly Hildebrand. Do what? Oh yeah, I haven't set up I haven't set up subscriptions yet. That's that's in progress. But thank you for the subscription along cat. Oh It fell so heavily. Bits went flying. Okay. Let's get back to fishing. Do some cosmic horror fishing. I'm also gonna get my mouse back. There we go. Give that fish. Give that fish. Yes. That's it. Yes. As I botch the fishing. God damn it. There we go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Head pads. Oh, that actually full on like disrupts gameplay. Just a heads up. I need I need to actually adjust that for uh Let me adjust something real quick. I still wonder uh, where Low Poly Hildy gets his tea from. Who eat Low Poly Space? Genuinely Low Poly Space. He probably gets it from looking at my game of uh, SF6 doing a Hado Pizza mini game when looking over at the atmospheric in slight discomforting fishing. Yeah, that like. I knew this game would be a bit chill on the first few streams. This is going to be a few streams. Like, I'm probably going to play a little bit of this off stream as well. Just to see where, uh... Just to see how long it would take to get to the uh, horror aspects of this game. But I, I don't mind a good chill stream. Especially on a debut situation. Trots even look over like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, we also got to get a squid, so I guess we are going to be doing some night fishing here in a bit. Uh, what's our inventory looking like? All right, well, time to face the horrors. It is time. There's just a red-ass light over there. You see that shit? Also, yep, doing a quick hydrate while we wait for the squids to awaken. Or is it just gonna fog the fuck up? Oh, there we go. Squid. Arrow squid. Fuck it, let's do another one. 
All right, that is full inventory. I think I just saw something below me. Um. Hey, yo, what the fuck was that? <laughs> All right. Now this dame's doing a very good job just making, uh, making it chumpy. <laughs> Fart jump scare! <laughs> oh, is that what that noise was? Yeah, no, I hear it. It's raining here in Seattle right now. Yeah, that's fine. Pro tip, there's nothing below you. Pay, pay, pay no mind to the fish below the, the ocean. Okay, so I need a black groper. I don't... Hello, Piffdoodle! Thank you for the follow! And yeah, no. Jeez. Oh, uh, I just... I'm looking forward to this game because I really... Like, it may be a couple of streams before the horror kicks in, but when it... Oh. Oh, no. Pro tip the unseen. <clears throat> oh my throat. Fuck. This there there's definitely not there's definitely not gonna be a stream after today. I'm gonna be resting my throat. I was thinking about doing a surprise stream tomorrow. I was thinking about doing a surprise stream tomorrow, but uh <laughs> Piff, you know something! What do you know that I don't? What do you know? Uh, is it really kicking that fast? <laughs> yes, play this game, streamer! <laughs> Play the game streamer or Naya will do it <laughs> Naya will do it again. Depends on how you feel about fish heads. Uh mixed mixed results. If it's a fish I've never seen before, I'm gonna feel very uncomfortable. Let's see, gropers are uh I think that's it. No, that's flounder, but I'm getting it anyways. see a movie didn't have to pay to get him in oh I think those are flounders also hey what the fuck's going on over here hold up it just plays pipe the uh, pipe sound pro tip something is wrong with the fish there's a bottle in the water! They're sending an SOS. It's a message in a bottle. I am too young for that song. I'll throw an SOS. Oh, I'll throw an SOS. A message in a bottle, yeah. I forgot what band did that song. One of these motherfuckers is gonna, uh, be a groper. Boom. Fish attache ca case. Uh, the police! Thank you! Thank you, Puma Cam! I'm glad somebody else know knew what that song was. And, uh, honestly, I, I just say that just because, like, it's... It's that, the band my parents listen to sort of thing. Even though it is a decent band, and it's still a decent song. The fuck? 
Oh, it's dredge. Okay. The fuck? Oh, I thought I saw a giant ass shark swimming by. I was about to be like, am I about to have to break out the gun? Stingray! Steve Irwin! Watch out, Steve Irwin! I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, Steve, Steve everyone was a gift, for real. Sting of Spire of the Dragon fame. What? Or is that just a reference to a character? Oh, wait, there was a character named Sting in Spyro. Well, let's see, voice in Spyro. It's been a while, actually. Uh, that's another groper. Where the fuck are all the gropers? Oh! Shit, for real? That's actually pretty awesome. All right, well, I need to get something out of this. Uh, oh, we already have squids. All right, we're just gonna fill the boat with squids. Fuck it. So, uh, it is wrong. Okay, fair enough. I was about to be like, it's not, it's not terribly unusual for like major musicians to compose for video games. I know Danny Elfman has composed for at least two video games so far. So it's it's not like it's something that's good god the fog is that fucking thick this uh this round. Uh fucking I don't remember specific games, but Danny Elfman has composed for a game before. The lighthouse towers above. Waves crashing endlessly against the perilous rocks below. Lend their talents to video games and whatever. Yeah, no, it like it's similar to how everybody's just kind of weird, waiting for Weird Al to do it too. It's full of th it's thick and full of unspeakable horrors. Pro tip: let them in. <laughs> <laughs> the fog is coming. You must be prepared. <laughs> How long will it stand? How long will it last until it decays into ruins? Its purpose exhausted. <laughs> if you cold, they cold. Let them in. <laughs> Towards the lighthouse above. I ideally want to pay off the boat. Oh, I am sorely tempted to play this game with both ears. The fuck? How? Oh. The camera shifted. What the fuck? Okay. What'd you do with all the fish eggs? <laughs> if you're scared, they're scared. Let them on the boat. Got leave it here. I don't have any gropers, so uh, we have everything now to break business. Sell the mayor's walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood with a spring in his step. Fantastic news! Only well, thanks to your efforts, Greater Marrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I have granted a, a consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I have allocated some money to improve the fishmonger's services. He might have something to talk to you about soon. One place on Earth where getting the latest COD isn't <laughs> doesn't involve video games. God! <laughs> hey guys! Hey guys! The new Call of Duty or the new Call of Duty's out. What? Yeah, this village just said that the new COD is out. 
Bro, that's fish. <laughs> I'll sage my hound. Thank you for the call for a stretch. I actually should be stretching a little bit. Ugh. Ugh. All right. Thank you so very much for the reminder there. Mars, we're getting stiff. Fish bread is eh. The current theory so far is this is an Innsmouth situation, but they're super chill, actually. I mean... Cod of Duty mar modern, modern Shore Fair. Alright, so that means the Dry Dock. This is the Dry Dock! You can make significant improvements to your vessel here. We're taking extra... Oh, we're talking extra space, more attachment points for equipment, and even superior hulls. We need a decent stack of hard materials for these projects. Lumber, metal scraps, that sort of thing. Uh, How do I get it? There's plenty of decent materials around the coast from various shipwrecks and the like. I'm sure you'll find a way to get them. Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored. So don't worry about, uh, if you only have half what you need. Oh, shit. Upgrade tree. Fuck yeah. Uh, I think we have an upgrade we can get, finally. Hold up. Does this let us... Oh, no. Both of these are shallow. Okay. An old rusty engine. And the cracked bulb. This is like a... Or this is like a weird Lovecraftian purgatory and you died during the intro. Anyone who dies in that stretch of the ocean is trapped here. You know, that actually feels like that would be the case. Think about the timber ship that I uh, capsized. Uh, I think I know where this is going, but go ahead, Becky. Okay, the mayor has nothing to say. Oh my god, Becky! The captain was a real lumbering brute. Oh my god. The best puns, but goddamn. <laughs> okay, so I think those are actually the gropers I need. So let's go ahead and pick those up. Nope, that's just more bass. Uh, maybe that's groper? No, those are flounders. We're going to get it anyways. Just so we don't just so I don't feel like I wasted my time. Uh hold up. Why am I not checking my fishpedia? Uh stingray. Flounder, great eel. Oh, have I not gotten groper yet? Oh, I guess not. Fair enough. All right. Well, time to go fucking fishing outside the bounds that we normally do. God, the captain was a real lumbering brute. Becky. Oh, too deep. Oh, down in the deep blue water. No more playing safe. It is time to feel the depths of oceanic water in my loins. Oh. <laughs> uh, we're gonna get that anyways. Holy mackerel. Get another one. Never mind, that little thing is gone. I'm assuming that yellow was a critical success. Alright, that's good enough. For a smidge. For a smidge. Am I gonna bump into the. Okay. Let's see what's going on at this weird. 
Oh, Bla okay. Blackstone Island. We can't do anything w with this yet. It hasn't been used in decades. Shit's locked. All right, well. So I know what this is. Uh, you can see it on the store page. Uh, there might be more going on to it, but the core gist of it is you can buy uh, some DLC that gives you some extra stuff that either changes the gameplay or makes the gameplay a little bit uh, harder or easier. I forgot the specifics of it, but... Uh, toggle with X. Okay. I don't really see that tutorial in full. I'm just gonna fish until I uh, fill my hole at this point. Fill for a hole with the ooh, whoa! What the fuck? Um? Something is wrong with the fish. Something is wrong with the fish. Uh, yeah. We we already have a situation like that, it seems. Bright lights and sleeping will reduce it. Okay. So the mechanics are being explained, finally. Or, well, explained more. That's something they're doing on purpose. Um. Right on time. Lights went out. <laughs> time to go inside. <laughs> uh, we don't have the fish. We're still looking for the gropers. What is it today? You hand the gro uh, the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grins and raises the fish up to its face before inhaling deep, stuttering breath. Oh. Ah. Now this is the sort of specimen I had to liven up my day. I wonder. He runs his finger. F uh, yeah, runs his finger firmly along the length of the fish, as though feeling for something. He pushes from one, uh, one side of its stomach, t or from which side of its stomach, and a small shape can be seen again, uh, seen against the bulging scales. He slices the fish open. From its stomach, he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. Well, never seen that before in all my days. I'll give you this thing, and I'll pay you for the fish too, of course. A lot of cat! A lot of cat, thank you for the tooth! The gift sub! Yeah. Oh, oh my god, the jar is so full! We're, we're definitely about to test something I didn't think I we would be getting tested this soon. Because I actually hand uh, set up that jar, and I don't know if the frame the collisions are correct. Oh, are we paid off on our debts? A man is looking at you through uh, through your cabin window. His face is mostly in shadow. Oh, I'm, I'm in the jaw! I'm in the jaw! I'm so full from the fabric, yum! <laughs> I'm inside the jaw. I'm... I'm drowning. Please, help. I'm just an innocent man. A normal, innocent man. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, <laughs> I'm unabashedly having fun with that. <laughs> the, the, this the PNG uh, piffle, thank you so very much for this PNG, PNG tuber thing. It's given me so much more to do with my stream now. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> what do you mean? We're just normal, innocent men. <laughs> Help me. I'm drowning. Now I gotta, I gotta, I gotta push myself a little bit up above the jar. I know. Yeah, I know what you took to the fishmonger. And I'll be clear. I know he extracted an artifact from it. You need to inspect it. But not here. Hmm. Meet me on... Oh, okay, never mind. Blackstone, Blackstone Island does serve a different purpose than DLC. I think it's just a workshop, then. Head out, uh, head out of this bay and cut south. I have business, I have a business proposition that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. Yo, okay. Uh, Joe, link me the patch notes. Link, uh, is this DLC fighter or is this just uh standard patch notes? Okay. Ah, oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, no, fucking World Tour has amazing set dressings. One moment. Sounds more like pasta dressing than set dressing. I mean, depending on what you know about Hakan, that can actually vary. Because I think he actually does use food grade uh, oil for his bullshit. So we just full on have... Uh, let's do a dry dock upgrade. Remember, you don't have to have... Oh, right. I have to get the materials first. Uh, all right, well, we're just going to go to Blackstone. Because we don't have the means at the moment. And just keep on fishing. Fishing like it's big the cat. More flounders. More fl Oh, wow, that spot was depleted quickly. I'm so used to the video game logic of, uh, you can overfish a spot to death and not have any consequences. Meanwhile, this game is over here just like, yeah, you're not gonna do that. This game's actually really good about that. Get a little more attache case fishing. I'm sorry. Corrupted scales and bulbous eyes. Nothing like you've ever seen before. Fucking what? Also, Nexus, I, if they uh, update the Lies of P demo and give multiplayer, I will absolutely stream that with y'all. Like, it would be a mutual stream. Look, th this mackerel, like, fucking, what, what was that dude, that uh, dude's name from fucking the Goonies? It's a chunk? What's up, Sophia? Oh, soonish, probably. I, I I still want to get a bunch of things smoothed out first. More mackerels! Yes, more mackerels! <laughs> more macaroni!
Like, I, I still got to figure out a lot of back-end stuff once that all's uh, set and good. What's up, Parn? You finally showed up the stream? <laughs> I messed with you. You're good. <laughs> I know you got other things going on. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not like, you know, going to give you, uh, unironically give you shit for something that's out of your control. It's fine. But it, but it is good to see you pop in. Especially on the fucking, on a debut stream. The man is standing in a doorway watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbon. You came. Good. Allow me to introduce myself. I am a collector of many things. Arts and artifacts. Treasures and truths. And curios that occupy the periphery of a desire. And you have something for me. You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. These patterns, unmistakable, even after all this time. This handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. It carried items of great importance. As you can imagine, retrieving them is proving to be challenging. That's where you come in. What's the catch? My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks in dark depths. Find me these lost relics and I will reward you in ways beyond all imagining. You need not give up your fishing career. I'll merely need a few hours with your vessel to make the necessary alterations. What are you saying? This better be free. <laughs> <laughs> My proposition is this. Let me ride on your dumpy dump. Your padonka donk. Your wide posterior. I want to feel those cheeks clap. <laughs> I accept. Excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. Oh shit, he took a while. But we finally got the Wind Waker Crane! The relics we are looking for is a ring, a necklace, a watch, and a music box and a key. Those tend to go one and one. I would encourage you to ask around towns and uh, about shipwrecks for, or other strange occurrences. Anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. Uh, I think it's safe for me to still depart. But I'm definitely going to be lighting the fuck up soon. Oh, the fear. The fear is already kicking. Oh. Oh no, I'm in the jar. I'm in the jar and flying blind. Where's the lighthouse? There's the lighthouse! Oh shit, this gust of wind's fucking kicking me. Ah! Okay, that actually made me fucking jump! <laughs> thank you, Piv! Thank you for popping in! And thank you for the follow! <laughs> I actually got jump scared from that. <laughs> so, for those who are not necessarily aware, uh, it, it's not nearly as bad as it used to be, but I do have a lingering feel, fear, feel, of uh, dark unknown depths, particularly the water. <laughs> yeah, do you have jump scare? <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> That's that did they jump scare the shit out of me? Oh my god! 
All right, builder and lighthouse keeper. Since the uh, I'm gonna adjust my PNG tuber for a moment here, just so y'all can see the uh, there is other icons down here, and we're going right back to normal. Perfect. There we go. Yeah. So now, now to say that games like Subnautica aren't playable for me, uh, they kind of aren't, but they are. And I, I just have a raw fear of dark depths. It's, just, it's not nearly as bad where I would actually just be like constantly on edge and freaking out. But it's most definitely a thing. Also, go play. Also, people should play both of the Subnautica games. They're amazing. <sighs> both. Of. What is it? Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? Shit. She eyes you suspiciously. There's a spot near the near the back of the Greater Marrow where the current carries in wreckage from the sea. Some nights you could see an unnatural glow rising from the dark patch of water. I can't imagine what's down there in the deep. It might be my husband. He's been missing for 30 years. I might be responsible! Now if you're looking for what I think you're looking for, it's the best you just move on. I don't want to pay his divorce. I hope he's dead. I should go. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's that's actually what I was doing earlier. It's just I keep forgetting that I can hit Control Z. I'm gonna actually add it as a button on my stream deck. Ah, ah, that's actually that's not that's not bad. Fucking. You can approach a woman sitting on the dark side, staring out to sea. She turns to you. What's it like out there? I don't want to talk about it. It's peaceful. So, yep, getting another sip. Ah. What? No, oh, they already fucking drowned me in the fucking bitch or twice. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll be fine. It's gotta be damn. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's gotta be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I think I just need to get. Oh, I'm in the job. I'm in the job game. I think y'all yeah, probably heard me say that I've already been drowned in a damn jar. <laughs> Drowning me. Oh. Also, yeah, yeah, no, the character designs for this game has been without love. Yes, and I appreciate y'all so much. Uh, yeah, the character designs in this game has been amazing. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You should always keep moving forward, moving along. I can't go back. She's gazing out to sea again. Awesome thought. Say, if you find me some materials, maybe you can help me move. I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard about. Steel Point, just to the north. Two units of lumber and two units of scrap is all I need. I can make a new place just for myself out there. You'd be you'd be welcome to visit too. Just stack it up at the steel uh, uh, yeah Steel Point. And when you have anything, I'll pay you when it's when the job's done. Groper. Yeah, no, the art style's amazing. Tree's going nuts. The tree's gonna have a little jingle jangle problem. The tree's going nuts. All right, so we're going to the north part of. Oh, there's a big old puffer fish. Oh fuck. Uh, so we're going to the north part of the uh, island here and search for some wreckage. And I forgot to sell my fish. Oh no! 
Return trip. Return trip. Also, when it's actually, like, clear and, like, sunny in this game, it's actually really, pr really pretty. Like, holy shit. Kind of reminds me of uh, a short hike in terms of, like, the cell shading. Yeah, just dump a bunch of stuff out there. It'll fi I'll, I'll find it. Yeah, pretty much. I found this book back. It could be useful to you. The fishmonger reaches under the counter and hands you a damp, ba a battered book. That button didn't work for a second there. A few shimmering fish scales are stuck in, uh, to the corner. Dump a bunch of dumpy. Alright, well, I guess that quest is just not a thing anymore, which means I... Have you seen that strange red light at night? It seemed to be rising from the west. Okay, well. Uh, we haven't done anything with the materials, but we will do something with the shipwright real quick. I do want a little bit more speed, even if it means uh, using a relatively weak and dingy engine. Just to get that extra bit of uh, speed in there. And we're good on the lights. I could probably swap out for a new fishing rod. I have the money now. Is that better? Yeah, fishing speed 40%. Yes. All right, perfect. So we now have a simple skimmer and a basic fishing pole. Two very good pieces of, of gear now. I think this is about as good as it's going to get when it comes to this area. So we're just going to rest. And then go right back out. It's the big red piss line in the sky. All right, there we go. Onward we go. Dump a bunch of dumpy. Big ol' butt. Big dumpy. Boom. Double eel. Can we get a triple? Let's do another one. Birdie. Trying to get one of those weird eels, but I guess I ain't getting that lucky. Uh, there were some dregs over here earlier. Looks like there still is. Start dragging. Uh, how am I supposed to do this? Change lanes and avoid gaps. Oh! Oh! That makes a lot more sense suddenly. Let's do it again. As I proceed to do the opposite of what I need to do. below and we in uh yep i'm aware i don't have to have all the materials uh i think i need to get the 
more space. I don't really need engine spaces. I need more other things. Let's do some light space. So I'm kind of treating this like uh, a certain game, Kagura, that I saw you playing on Steam recently. Which I'm super excited that you're playing! I want to talk to you about that game so much! Uh, fucking Sunless Skies! Fucking gotta treat it like this game, or like this game is that. Fucking, the Sunless series is so fucking good. Almost all of the Fallen London games are amazing. I think there's like one that hasn't come out yet, which is why I say almost. Oh, I still don't have a groper. Rest. Yeah, fucking... I, I will be doing a stream at some point as well of Sunless Sea. That's just going to be a very long stream, though. Because, like, most of the meat and potatoes don't really occur until you've been out uh, in the Z for so fucking long. Like, the game doesn't get horror adjacent until much later. We're just going to go out there. What the fuck? Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna get that. No big deal. Whoa, what the fuck? Look at his feigned cod yucking it up. He's like, <laughs> botch that. Big boy yucking it up. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually enjoying the uh, twist and turn into place mechanics this game has. It is so, like, it is tingling parts of my brain that I didn't know be tingling. Uh, yes. We're just gonna have to cruise our way back now. That's some good grub, and then the fishmonger cuts a weird bug out of one of the not quite normal fish. That's some good, that's some good food, that's some good food there. I hope you got plenty for the class. Start dragging. Uh, I might let go of one of my fish. I don't think there's a way to rearrange anything that will be conducive to uh, actually being able to fit this. No, there will be, hold up. Yeah, whatever, screw it, bye-bye. Salvaging's a little bit more important right now. Just like flicking switches and turning knobs. I mean, uh, I'm actually gonna dock at the other side now that I don't have to worry about uh, monetary bullshit or debts. Oh, trader. You're in a brightly lit shop with antiques and the show. Uh, with it, it's packed with antiques. The shelves full of jewelry and other baubles. An old man peers at you from over the silver spectacles. Hello? Is that. No. Ah, and I believe we met. Forgive me, my eyes aren't quite what it used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. 
I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have anything you, uh, have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? No, but good to know this. Oh, uh, Grieving Father has a mark on him. Hello? Is everything okay? Do you know when he streams shipwrecks around here? Well, yes, you see, my old son was lost at sea some years ago. Have you seen my daughter? He's still out there somewhere. In those wrecks, in one of those wrecks, all alone in the cold, dark water. The man is clearly trying his hardest to remain composed, but tremors of grief rack his body. Ah, uh, I was thinking more fucking Silent Hill Harry without the glasses. Was it was it Harry that had the glasses? But regardless. I was wondering, I noticed you have some drinking equipment with uh, installed on your vessel. If you're able to retrieve any of his belongings from the wreck, I think you'd feel more be at peace of his memory. Mementos, memories, everything were with me. It wore a bronze belt buckle, specifically engraved, or especially engraved. I'd recognize it anywhere. If there's a chance you could find it, it'd be in your debt. All right, well. Hitting that rest button. Let's get do do do. Starting the morning early. Thump. Uh, could I fit a squid on here? No. Onward we go back to town. Does that dreary coastal town? Got nothing to say about the weird one? All right. Drop some wood off. And metal scraps. Uh, engine space. And then go into here for some research. Mangrove, what? Hold up. Fucking mangrove volcanic? Shallow? Abyssal? Alright. Okay, that one's got one gear. I'm gonna put in this one. Apparently, we're getting weirder fucking fishing rods. I probably could have been putting it into engines, actually. That's fine. We'll get more. I'll make the goal for this, uh... This offset. I wasted time. I'll make the goal for this offset to be salvage. God, this game is beautiful. Holy fuck. So pretty! Up, I'm back in the jar again! Oh god! I'm back in the jar. Oop. Savage. Got a gamer moment here. Ah, there's some metal. More metal. Perfect. We got at least one upgrade in, in play now. I'm just hanging a knockoff jet. Uh, hang, uh, imagining a knockoff jet stream Sam who uses a piece of lumber. Jet Sim stream. Oh my god. 
the fuck is this? Oh. Interesting. Oh! Alright. No, we going in. Jewelry? Oh, alright. That's it then. And then we chill chill here by fucking Deer Island. Not until after... Oh, there's a lot of salvage here. Hold up, I'm gonna turn on the... There we go. Oh shit, we're gonna Splatoon mow my head! Doom, doom! Jet lag, Sam. Oh my god. Oh my god. Both of y'all. Jesus. You got Becky in you and you both. Uh oh cool. I can actually just rest at a random island. Uh, material pile. Oh, this is probably that island that, uh, that one lady was talking about. A big old great white shark over there. I'm just gonna fucking whoop! There's some big old salvage! Boy! Goblet! We got the goblet! What is it, the Holy Grail? Perfect. And then we cruise on back and turn all the shit in for upgrades. I hope I can create a separate save file because I kind of want to play this off stream. <laughs> the fuck is that? Oh, this is a reflection. That is like some big old fucking super dolphin or some bullshit. Coming in to be like, give me the fish! Actually, no, I don't have room for that. I think I'm full on salvage. Dolphin just comes up, sprouts legs, kicks the side of my boat. Give me a food! I want all that shit! Oh my god! Oh, I would fucking go. Oh no. <laughs> as, as, as much as I would love it, I would dread the fuck out of it. Yep, we're just getting more lights. Uh, actually... Do more rod spaces? Imagine just hopping into your ship after leaving it at the dock with some fish. Just going, hey guys! And then, and then they're just a suspicious... A suspicious, a suspicious dolphin is in my, uh, or suspiciously full dolphin is in my inventory. Oh no! <laughs> Dolphin's just having a fucking food coma. Uh, we can do that right now. Damn, we getting these upgrades fucking quick. Holy shit.
I think you need one more metal. You need... Oh, basic troll? Oh, basic troll net. All right. Uh, that's probably at the ship, right? And she pulls out a book from a toolbox nearby and hands it to you. A few pages for, are stuck together with grease. Okay. Grease. Gotcha. But I do want the net. Uh, lasts for one day. Oh, that's a per use. Good to know. <laughs> Lockwood World Quest Troller. Just like, yeah. What the hell you gonna do? Alright, so I actually... Uh, let's get a higher lumen reading. And we're gonna store you for now. Uh, we're gonna depart, actually. And we're gonna make one last bit of income. Because we have something that actually will be put to use. Nah, I'm good. We're just cruising across the bay. Hoping that nothing gets weird with us. You a grouper? You're squid. And we're good. Ah. Alright, you will... All trinkets sold. Got 60 bucks out of that. We're gonna hit a rest. And we are going back to fishing. Which is gonna involve a stingray. I said stingray. Oh my god. I am working on the worst delay right now. Perfect. Chill stint. Oh my god. Gotcha, bitch. Alright, there we go. The wood will go right there. God, these take up a lot of fucking space, too. Alright, well... Let's see what's this over here oh that one's sparkling what's going on with this oh oh very nice up uh, fucking <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> Are you here to meet the all-seeing card? Don't worry. He sees everything. Homie got them ra uh, those rare software fucking eyes going on. Oh. I'm in the jaw. I'm in the jaw. <laughs> Staring outwards, unblinking eyes, uh, borrowed from a larger being, but not the mind to process what it sees. What? Did you hear the one about the stingy fish that devoured the stars? I don't know. Go on. Uh, do I have enough room? Do I have to... This game do be weird. It was a ray of sunshine. Oh my god, Becky. He needs eyes on the inside. He's seen some shit. Yeah. Pretty sure that fish is just like... <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> I 
I might still I might actually still stream Monday. We'll see how things go. All right, so we have a trophy catch, which looks to be a more costly. And then whatever the fuck this is, which is double that. Uh, what the other remotes are. Oh, uh, so I, I might as well go ahead and showcase the other ones. Uh, we have scared, welcome, laughing. The welcome one just bounces. This is just repurposed, the same one, but repurposed for laughing. Dead inside. Stone faced or upset. Double purpose. <laughs> um. No. <laughs> yeah, the, the fishmonger upon seeing the all see, seeing googly eyed fish. Oh my. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, so there's there's uh the normal tanuki, which I did that one per, uh, by hand. Uh, this one, which is the stone face. Dread, or sweet baby Jesus, no. And then, uh, technically this one has three frames, but it uses uh, one frame for an in-between state. Which is the uh, start a little flash thing there. And that's it so far. More will come in the future. Probably in the very near future, too. Yeah. I, I plan to robust this thing to fuck out. Like, if I can fill my uh, XL with as much... My, my Stream Deck XL with as much as possible, it'll be filled with as much as possible. Okay, so we need... Paramount. Oh, we haven't had a... And it'll be all through Piffle, and I'll be, work, uh, as I said before, working with Piffle to get uh, some VTuber thing. I think I've mentioned to her before, but I'm gonna... I'll let her know again after stream. Ah, okay. Money fresh. Okay. Sorry, I just saw your uh, your DM there, uh, Lemony. I... I tried not to have discord up on the other side while i'm streaming so if i miss anything sent by dms i apologize it's mainly to keep me fi uh focusing on the same or focusing on the stream more than discord Then to send a bunch of DMs just for the sake of distracting. No, I just minimize that shit outright. <laughs> From else to understand, you really have to do the art in specific uh, in a specific what to get really good live 2D ones. Yeah, uh, I've been watching a few specific like discussion videos about VTubers for the past few days before uh, getting in full force for this. Uh, like. It's genuinely up to a mix of uh, the artist putting in the effort and the rigor putting in the effort, as well as actually putting in some effort on your side as well. You can actually, if, you're, if your model is set correctly through Live 2D, you can have uh, one single standard expression that is able to adjust based on a specific set of mouth bones that can be rigged, but that may just be the... Uh, may just be the pro version of the software, which lets you have better expressions. Now, when it comes to the eyes, it's a little bit different, but you can finagle that a specific way if you know how to manipulate uh, layers in Photoshop and other software like it. It sounds like a lot, but it's really not. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm saying this as somebody who will openly admit when something is more technical than it actually is, I will not sell something short if it's complex. We're gonna fill our boat. 
Uh, is our boat still? Yeah. It's just one of the one of the big things that I has upset me with how some VTubers behave is they try to use the difficulty of getting started, even for PNG tubers like I like I'm doing right now, as a method of gatekeeping for the community. And I really don't care for that shit. Because I know what it's like to be gatekept from communities. Uh we're gonna go over there, see if we can pass this without bumping anything. Ooh -wee. Like, it, it's... One of the biggest goals that I have unofficially set for me starting PNG tubing is to just help people grow into it so it feels less like it's the ever-elusive job that you can get and more fueled on whether or not you put forth the efforts and the personality into your VTuber stuff. Oh, is that the grouper? Yes! Finally got it! And this fucking Astalos looking motherfucker. What the fuck? Uh, can I temporarily place you? Yeah, I... Kagura, I've talked before about how I've been specifically gatekept in a few cases as well. Like, I think it's fucked up that, like, stre streamers and certain types of communities will just do this. Or do that without any real regard for what sort of repercussions it could happen, or could have. Hmm, I have not heard a word of World of Darkness much more beyond a very uh, situation. I'm just going to throw away this wood. Fish is a little more important right now. Oh, fuck that. Yeah, no, that right there comes off as like the job that uses the personality test to decide on whether or not they're going to hire you. Like, that shit's not fucking cool. The Grouper! I didn't think you had it in you. Night fishing is a tall order. I've been meaning to talk to you about a new business venture. I've been considering crap pumps. I've got one here for you, in fact. It's a bit banged up, but you can get it fixed at the ship, right? Boom. Not only that, when it comes to not everybody has played a tabletop before, but not everybody has knowledge of every single tabletop game. Like, nobody should say, should answer a I've never played it before, or played tabletops before, with skill issue. That's not okay. This one's that the other people... Uh, had... They knew how to make a character sheet. I did not, so I could not join. Yeah, that, that's, that's fucked. I'm actually pretty fucking upset about, like, just hearing about that. After a fiddler crab and a common crab, both species can be found around here. Ooh. Can I buy... I can. Six to three per day. Or per... Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm just fucking... Gah! That's fucking frustrating. If it's if it's anybody I know, I'm I like. It's probably best to not tell me because I will tear into them their ass over that. 
That's just not cool to just be like, no, no, you don't know? Okay, that's not my problem. You figure it out. Let's fuck that shit. Hearing weird fucking noises. Uh, perfect. Well, I didn't pull me off the tabletop games. I'm now DMing my own for the first time, and while it's not per uh, perfect, people seem to be enjoying it. Yeah, from from what I've seen and through other people. Like, Nexus especially. You don't have to have a deeply intense mechanical thing for it to be enjoyable, which is what Nexus has pulled off in uh, his tabletops and has been amazing. It, it just has to be fun. And you, Cogger, you seem like the sort of person who would be able to do something fun. All right, let's go back to the fishmonger real quick. And sell that weird ass voltaic fish. Yeah, I'm a I'm excited for it. I'm super excited for it. Oh, I should probably hit rest and not go out when it's dark and rainy like this. There we go. And then back out to gather more money. It's like the crab uh, catch things over time, but often needs repairing. So I believe crab pots are gonna be good like right here. Oh, shit! Well then! Oh, there's some salvage. Wooey! Fucking Becky, uh, talk to Nexus and see what he has in mind if you want, or reach out to Parn or literally anyone else. Like, with the exception of me, because I don't, t I, t I try not to overload myself throughout the week. So I can have time for stuff like what I set up here to, uh, for this stream. Uh, the, okay, I was about to say, did I lose my control? Boom! Oh, trophy catch! Damn! Caught a three-headed one. Seems we found the uh, Springfield power plant runoff. There's a lot you can tell about someone by how they approach and discuss TTRPGs. The most knowledgeable of them that I would see, uh, I'd also be worth talking to. Oh yeah, fuck! I forgot you also do DMing as well, Raven Joe. Sorry about that. I was distracted by the fish. Catching a fish from the Springfield, uh, radioactive, the Springfield waste, uh, output. Hmm. 
can say it didn't uh didn't always used to be a community theater superhero simulator whoa i would have been like excuse me Oh. Oh. The mackerel. Kill plates uh, dotted with eyeballs. Superfluous, uh, but scanning. Uh, frantic, uh, but scanning frantically. All eyes see right through you. What the fuck? Catching a lot of weird ones from this batch. Holy shit. Oh, no. Becky, Raven Joe can confirm that I, I, there are moments where I also, actually both Raven Joe, Parnash, uh, Nexus all can confirm that there are times where I've asked for some absurd shit myself. So you would not be without people being aware or, well, uh, you know, knowing. Time to sell this weird ass fish. Holy shit. 54, 39. Damn, the weird ones are fucking way more expensive. Yeah, no, he's not bullshitting. Joe there is not bullshitting whatsoever. Like, it actually, his tabletop did genuinely go in that direction. And just due to scheduling co scheduling conflicts, we just weren't able to really, you know, actually finish up. Oh! Another weird squid! Tasting tongues while, while, uh, writhe wildly around sets of yellowed crooked teeth. The top row are flattened like human molars. Oh! What's up? What's up, Mute Willy? Uh. Yeah, we caught a boot, all right. <laughs> We're definitely catching some fucking shit. Oh, another one. More money. Gone from murder mysteries, a haunted, yep. There was an elaborate Hotel California races to a full-on car race. Some of the best DMs in chat. Genuinely. So you got you got pick of the litter there, Becky. We're just gonna turn these in. Do you real quick. And then got nothing there I am keeping an eye on no you're not doing this to me game 
No. I ain't putting up with that. Turn off the fucking lights, I dare you. Oh shit, I'm seeing that fucking eye. Holy fuck. This is as if the MMO didn't ever happen, Gr granted, set for it anyway. On honestly, with the way Star Wars has been wrote as a whole, you probably could genuinely work within can work outside of canon and still make more sense than the MMO did it towards the tail end. And out we go to do more salvage now. I so I have officially heard a number of stories about uh, Knights the uh, the Old Republic MMO storyline and how there were just points where the devs would just retcon shit for no reason, and uh, it was a thing. People were unhappy, and the moderators of the forum were just like, "No, no, you're you're not allowed to be happy or unhappy." I say I'm gonna salvage and then go catch more fish. Yeah, fucking the way Lancer has been, I am thoroughly impressed that they haven't had anybody do, like, community mods for Phantom, uh, Phantom Zero or some shit, or Phantom One or Generation Zero or some shit. Because, like, the way Lancer is designed feels like it's really made for video games without actually being a video game. Alright, well, we're gonna go into the deep sea, see if we can get something else going on here. Cause this stream's been relatively uneventful, and I'm about to I'm about to address the. Bear in mind, I'm mostly blind mostly blind with this game. Is that deep oceanic? Yep. I'm good. Thank you, though. Oh fuck. Bow? No, that's just a boat just chilling out. Uh, that is a broken monocle. Oh, that's it with that. Yeah, thank you for popping by, Zero uh, 214. And those who may be lurking uh, in, in silence, hey, it, you're, you're, it is perfectly encouraged to, like, chill and quiet in and just jo enjoy the stream overall. I do not discourage it. Pull alongside a, bo uh, a boat at anchor. There are, signs, there are signs of life on board, but nobody appears to greet you. Hello! Almost immediately, a small slot o uh, in the door snaps open. A pair of frantic eyes peer out at you. Who <laughs> goes there? A fisherman. What do you want? Just checking to see if you're okay. Do I seem okay? No. I'm very much not okay. I'm supposed to be delivering this package to Little Marrow, but I'm being stalked. The dredging has been terror, but it's been going pretty well. A huge leviathan lurks in these deep waters. I've seen it. It hung in, in the water, its gaping mouth just below the boat. It would have swallowed the vessel whole if I had not bolted for the shallows. I'm not going any further into this accursed island chain. 
I could deliver it to Little Marrow for you. You <laughs> what? Well, I'm gonna work, I guess. The courier pushes the lumpy brown package. Oop. The, curpy, the, the courier pushes the lumpy brown package through the door hole. It squelches slightly as you take it to your uh, hands. The dark fluid oozes from one corner. Thank you, stranger. This is bound for the dock worker at Little Marrow. I'm not sure what's inside, but listen. I know this sounds crazy, but sometimes I think I can hear the faintest whispers coming from it. Now, I'm not supposed to be transporting live goods. I don't have the equipment for it, so just be careful with this thing, whatever it is. Mm. Here, why don't you take this too? I get the joke! Getting over it with mind and body. Again, an item emerges from the door hole. This time a book is pushed through the th oh, and thuds on the deck below. You pick it up. I'll be on my way whenever the coast is clear. Safe, safe travels. I'm way the fuck out here. Uh. <laughs> I'm probably just gonna buy time. No, we're risking it. Shit. Um, okay. Um, oh. Oh, there was a boat! What the fuck?! Um... Alright! You didn't like my joke? I'm starting to think I might want to get rid of that fish too. Yeah, I'm just, just, it's gone. Dock worker at Little Marrow. How's was the day treating you? I've got a package here for you. A delivery, eh? Oh, it's a big one. Let me see. He takes the large package and examines it gently with his hands. He lifts it to one ear and listens for a while. He seems satisfied. Much appreciated, friend. Now, you'll excuse me. Wish me luck. He turns and hurries off the do uh, off down the dock without another word to you, or compensation. Okay, we're just gonna turn in our fish. Oh, there's a rock. 
Also, when you see the ga the controller jerk like that, that's not me doing that. Something's just shoving my ship around. Oh my! Oh my, you look exhausted. You're not forgetting to get some sleep, are you? As always, or as I always say, taking frequent breaks is an important part of being productive. Yeah. Sure. Oh, we're, we're good on fucking money, holy shit. It's time to rest. We're just gonna rest a whole day away. Just to get rid of that meter. Also, the Sonic 06 loading is currently turned off. I gotta correct it. I need to, I'm gonna disable that real quick. Sorry about that. I gotta I gotta correct that. So that's one of one of the first victims of the growing pains. No, you're good. If I can give you uh, 500 points, I totally would. Alright, now we're back into the fray. Head pats, anyways. Uh. Wow, thank you. <laughs> Damn, that lasts a while, too. I'm not correcting that. That's staying like that. Head pets bring life. He's fucking up the eels! I want a fucked up eel. Give me a fucked up- I'm in the jar. I'm in the jar again. Yeah, I think I'm. I'm. Now you're Pat and Naya. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, again, I'm hoping it's improving the quality of the. Uh, I'm hoping it's improving the quality of the stream for more than just me, because like I'm in. I'm adoring doing this now. It's. It's. It's giving me a lot more to do on my streams. I should be salvaging and not fishing. But it never hurts to have extra money. Uh, I think I'm all full up. Could you imagine that phantom ship coming back and going, Stop it! Stop it right now! You need to close that! <laughs> that incessant noise is making me unable to sleep! Quit it now! <laughs> The skele the skeletons on the ghost ship all point and rattle. They're just like <laughs> Sound like the the aliens from Mars attacks. <laughs> Alright, so that covers our coastal and shallow. So that means I can grab this. So this is no longer needed, I believe. Yeah. Same with this. I think I can actually get a return on this. So now I have more slots. Sick. Fucking go the, the fucking ghost pirates just 
leaning over the side of the ship going, Hey, yo, man, you see that One Piece trailer? <laughs> Uh, let's see. I think I'm primarily done. It's just down to salvage. You just hear haunted moans across the water. It looks like a baby wig. Yeah, the fucking Bostonian Harbor guy. That's a tuna, bro! That's an eldritch tuna! <laughs> and a tuna beyond our comprehension! <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that is! <laughs> it's a three-headed tuna, bro! Yeah, no, that's another reason why I hope to one day uh, move out that direction. Cause like, I actually heard Boston Harbor fishing is really fucking lovely. Fiddler crab and a common crab. Can I pick this up? Yeah, okay, cool, I can pick this up and Turn it in real quick. Like you, you it, it, I, I've heard that like Massachusetts is probably one of the best states to live in for fishing, just at large. Okay, so we got that order. Yep, I believe we have everything for that order. These will do. Glad you got some use out of that little pot. You can always buy more here or repair the damaged ones at the shipyard. <laughs> Sorry, been eating a lot of the fish lately. And I have one final request for you. As, you. as you've seen, some fish around here can develop our deformities. What do you what do you think happens to a person that eats the flesh of one of those mutants? <laughs> they go mad. Well, perhaps. But I want to know for sure. Bring me a mutant fish. Any will do. Just keep this between the two of us. So living the sword I would go for Jesus. What the fuck? That's kind of a weird ass place. Weird ass dock. Also, yeah, no, this dude's fucking dead. I'm not dwelling on him. He wants he wants tainted fish. He'll get tainted fish. Oh yeah, that actually sounds kind of cool. Just just for the fiddler fiddler crabs alone. Get more fish! Get more fish! Boink 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 boink. More fish? Give me a tainted one. Trying to salvage and you keep getting these weird quests. So many crab nests. They look like Swiss cheese. Fucking crab fucking rock bound crab nest and mud bound crab nests are always so cool to see. Toss us at them, and they'd steal it as if uh, if it was small enough. Yeah, and, the, the, and what's what you probably didn't wouldn't see is the fact that they would just go and adorn it to their uh, claws later on. Uh, 
Oh. Riddled flounder. A baggy skin perforated with countless cavities. A single sh shapeless mass spreads underneath. Oh! Alright. Time we make a trip back. You ri riddle me this catfish man. Yeah, fiddler crabs have fascinating habits. I'm just gonna cruise out here. The fuck was that? Thank you. Okay. Yep, in the jar where it's safe. Safer out there, safer in here than it is out there. Uh, I was more concerned about the red eye. But the fact that there was a boat out there is also concerning. Yeah, any aberrant fish will, will suffice. Here you go. It's a flying Dutchman. <laughs> the fishmonger takes the aberrated fish from you. He clutches it close to his chest, wringing his hands around its slimy body. Yes, this should do nicely. Here's what's the fish worth. And why you don't take, uh, why don't you take these two? <laughs> Out of fucking nowhere. <laughs> Also, holy, holy shit, fucking for real? Holy fuck. Hmm. Did you hear that? That was like the faintest whisper. You listen. Silence. In the stillness, stillness of the room, the fishmonger's hands begin to tremble. His face grows anguished. Please. So what you need. I must deal with this creature quickly now. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me check the other view. I think the art style is just uh, clicked with me that it's similar to a mix of Mike uh, Magnolia of Hellboy fame and Darkest Dungeon. Absolutely, abso fucking lootly, that is perfect. Like that is the best. A doll. Interesting. I'm gonna spend that. We now have hydraulic rod. And let's do... I should be using the research on like engines and shit. I keep forgetting that there's other options. Ah, that was loud. Oh, that was loud. 
I'm gonna turn that down. <laughs> that startled the shit out of me, but it was very loud. <laughs> More king and yellow. Absolutely. fucking loot Wait. Give me that shit. That and the pipe are gonna be awful for the nighttime. Absolutely. fucking loot -ly. I kind of want to see what, what the fuck that eye was, though. It's like, now I'm morbidly curious. But I don't think I'm going to get that lucky. You know what? Let's take a peek. Let's invite misery and pain. Come on. The fuck around find and find out mentality. Let's see where let's see where the line goes. I will draw you out with the worst thing a hurting man. It's the nut shack. It's the nut shack. <laughs> Someone leans out their window. Shut up! Come get me, motherfuckers! Come get me! Just gonna lay on the horn. I know, I'm playing it too safe. Yeah, that was the sunrise. It's, it's done that before. Sun goes up, goes go home. Yep. They fucked off. Yeah, no, I've I've done something with the sunrise before. Uh we're gonna try to catch one of these oceanic fish. See what this gets us. He's a shark attack. Oh. I'm going to get caught by the shark. Oh, God, could you imagine one of those corrupted? Up, oh, back in the door again. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm sure he's fine. We just, we just come back and the dude's just like full fucking uh, tear at Portsmouth. <laughs> I'm full of scales. <laughs> Ooh, another shark. 
that's just literally just background thing. Oop, hold up, that one just went live. Look at that fucker. Trophy! Oh my god, this thing takes up so much space. How am I gonna fit this on here? Holy shit. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna get rid of the... No, we're gonna keep it. We still have room. Ooh, salvage. I hope it's metal. It's probably wood. Oh no, that's just as good. I got it. Yes, let's get another one. Perfect. Full dock. From uh Gio? Oh! Okay, no, we're cruising. We're cruising. Oh no. I'm good. How you doing, Fishmonger? Uh, lightning hit it today. Did you come by yesterday? Uh, I don't recall. Okay. I have some sharks for you. Uh, we're gonna repair that real quick. God, that's so loud! So anytime I go quiet, y'all are just gonna be like, PIPE! <laughs> Two burritos in my storage! Ah, uh, yes. It's, it's the burrito bay. I kind of want to find out what would happen if I, like, tempted terror fate here. So let's actually... Anything got its eyes on me? Coming after my chicken nuggies? My two delicious plump thighs? Farting out into the darkness? Start blaring the Vega Bus song. <laughs> Damn, some of the salvage is actually getting kind of just a smidge bit difficult. I like to imagine you, you you aren't even sleeping in a, in our hotel. You're just plank uh, on, on you're just planking on the deck and napping. Yeah, just fucking stiff as the as the ghosts stand over going. Is he awake? Is he awake? Yeah, he's awake.
It's time for more salvage. Oh. Hey, what strong wooden hull breaks against the shoreline? The stern is completely beached. You pulled a bit closer and managed to clamber into the back of the wreck. Hell yeah. Fucking gimme. I need to do more exploring. I don't explore enough in this game. I need to solve that. Uh, that's more wood. I don't need more wood. I need more metal. I'm saved! Saved! Oh, you're in sight for these slower eyes! Um... You're right, buddy. What happened? I washed up here. Oh, it must have been some two weeks ago now. We were in the rough seas when a wave hit us broadside, and I was just shoved overboard. I thought my crew would come find me by now, but yours is the first ship I've seen pass by here. Did the boys send you to look for me? No. Oh, well, I'm sure they're looking anyway. Oh my god, it's the fucking gull from Animal Crossing. Am I going to have to fix his phone? I mean, is it feeling a risk rewarded with how far you go? Absolutely. Yeah, fucking Gulliver. This castaway is just fucking Gulliver. Can you give me to the little marrow, stranger? I should be able to catch them there. Yeah, sure. <laughs> We're just going to uh, put you in the cargo bay. I guess. Hopefully you're comfy. Um, not sure how to process this right now, but we're just going to take him to Little Romero and just, you know, carry on about our day. Honestly, I'd be too scared to sleep in town in this kind of setting. That's just asking to wake up to weird lumpy people staring at you. Absolutely. fucking Just the, the concerned terror that would be on your face with like some fucking bumpy motherfucker just peering over you going, I see you have wakened. Can I have your toenails? Some Innsmouth shit, yeah. The sweet sm rank smell of civilization. I thought I could never miss it. He turns to you for a moment. Uh, for someone who has just been saved, he seems gloomy. Hmm. I have not much on me, as you can imagine. And I have a bit of feel I have a feeling this isn't worth much anymore. For me, at least. But it perhaps it's, it'll be worth something for you. A signet ring from his left hand and presses it into yours. Interesting. I might sit on that. On to better horizons, friend. I will. Is it sellable? Oh, that's worth something. I might sit on it, though. I would, I, I'm... You found the previous captain. Or one of them. Probably. Let's see, I don't want crab pots, I want, like, a better engine. Yeah, there we go. Much better, hell yeah. And we're just gonna cruise on out. Bump against the pier for good luck, give it a little love tap. A little, little smoochy. Yeah, I actually should start utilizing my storage bay and actually, like, st start stocking stuff that will come in handy here in a while. 
Because we don't we don't know what a fail state in this game looks like. Oh, that's weird, but I can kind of see like a decent practical use for that. It's the rusty outboard engine. I'm just going to shove you in the storage for now. Like, it's cool that it doesn't really speed up the game, but it slows down the world itself. Like, I can re I can respect that sort of decision. And upgrade. And then go to my storage. And then grab that extra lamp. And then pop it right there. Perfect. Now we got some lightage. Storage, to storage, storage. And we're gonna cruise across the bay real quick. No, there is some level of speed increase, but I can kind of see, uh, I'm gonna have my lights at the ready. But that is cool that it like there is probably going to be a natural maximum uh, return point when it comes to the speed. Tree's going wacky back there. Look at him. Clapping hands. Uh, I'm good on wood. I'm looking to get some different sort of salvage. Find more strange keepings and eventings. And if I spot a new kind of fish, I might just go... Okay, cool. So if you, you've seen it before, you can use the... Okay. You can use the thing to blue mackerel. See what it is. Marlin! I want to get a swordfish! You just salvage up a crate of mighty number nine cases. Yeah, that'll definitely be in the abyssal area. I'm gonna lose my mind if this is a fucking okay. I'm about to say, if this is a fucking a bit like a tainted fish immediately. Good old twirl destroying technology. Yeah, pretty much. Oop, hold up before we go there. You're gonna salvage this jewelry. And we're going to cruise around the bay. Oh! Oh, there's a whale! Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Marlon Brando with the fla flavor text. <laughs> hey, Nexus! Is that a baby whale? <laughs> uh. You pulled up to a wreck with. <laughs> it's a tuna, bro! <laughs> <laughs> 
You pull up to a wreck with a familiar looking hull. It's uh, almost identical to the ship given to you by the mayor. Oh. Oh. What we got? Huge breach on the side. You're tied up alongside the old wreck. Yeah, let's look in the cabin. You're in the cabin. Uh, let's check the overhead electrical. Afraid it's internals. You angle the radio overhead and get a uh, closer neck down, and the slips down past you. You're in the cabin. Let's look for a loose floorboard. There aren't any even any floorboards left. Okay. Then the cupboards, then. Oh. Everything. Alright. Let's check out the cargo. Hey! Ooh, look at that! The floor machine broke. Oh, the raw risk we're going through right now. Uh. All right, it was worth it, but we're in a we're uh probably dead like unsalvageable spots. Yep, try to have a good day at work, Joe. Uh, where the fuck are we? So we need to go north. Jesus fucking Christ! Barnash, I swear to God. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it was. The stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air. Yeah, no, I saw that. Trust me, I saw it. Out of the corner of my eye. Vanishing before your eyes can focus on them. The cold stone does not respond to your touch. Uh... As long as I'm quiet... Um, what the fuck? Okay, let's see what's going on here. Okay. We're gonna rest. Returning customer. Please take this as a symbol of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find it useful. Pulls a bit from the stack. Wiggity whack. Alright. We're gonna go uh wherever the fucking there we go. Damn, shit fucking pops off in this game so fucking quick. Cue the penguins of Mad Madagascar. You there! Oh, okay, so that's just damage. And yeah, from from chill to zero chill in no time flat. Absolutely. Uh, you know, 
I feel like I can use that on something else. No, that is the only thing I can use it on. Never mind. All right, that's sitting in there. But it's a bit, uh, looking a bit banged up. I can repair it here. Uh, I can repair that here if you'd like. Yes, please. We also got a brand new stinky boy. So. Alright, so we have a bunch of books. Oh, I could have been doing this this entire time. Alright, well, we're gonna hit uh, rest. How long does it take to read a book? All right, fair enough then. We're just gonna pass a whole day until dawn. Oh, we, I have been completely ignoring sections of the menu. Deep sky, deep sky, deep forever. Casket seal broken. Fog core. Five equals rise. He kn he knows. Uh, there's good name. I'm glancing over some of these because I know there's quite a few of them. The name is Fisherman's Joke, and I was like, I don't get it. <laughs> All right. Perfect. We are going back out to sea for some more salvage. We're going to go north. Check out what's over here by Cool Guy Mountain. Fish Mountain. Oh, go chill out here, Wildfish Mountain. Also, just saw Hadal uh, listen on the fish book as a zone. Yeah, uh, we have a rod in the research that shows that that's a thing. I'm not entirely sure what that will entail. Wait! Oh, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, hey, 1,000 yen. We're also going to go uh, visit the lost city of Atlantis, apparently. The fuck? Okay. Volcanic. It's... It breaks ra randomly. Wait. Oh, we're in a volcanic era area. We're going to claim that real quick. I'm watching the time because I do see some fucking weird or hear some fucking weird shit.
the fuck is going on out there? A man meets you at, uh, as you dock, bracing himself against the wind and spray. A rapturous day! A fresh disciple carried to me upon the waves! Come ashore, weak thing, and rest your weary soul! Okay. Your arrival is providence from the deep itself. I have been calling. And now, you are the answer. Oh. Do I get free cold thrones for joining? <laughs> yeah, give me some of that shit, bro. I want some of that drip. <laughs> The rites of purification is almost at hand, and you are to be my replacement. Yeah, sure, uh... I guess? Your trial begins immediately. Tell me what does your spirit seek? Happiness? Merely an excuse to halt the search for something greater. Happiness is by definition and compromise. And your flesh, what does it crave? The sting of the salt? Pain is a trick of the flesh. Do not surrender to it. Finally, what does the world deserve? Fuck you. In a way, it deserves all that is washed ashore, freely keeping from the deep, but no more than that. The trial is concluded and you have much to learn, but that knowledge will be delivered to you in time. Now, your role as my initiate is to act as a herald of the purge, just as I was. Okay. For the one before. Nearby spires blaze with an eternal fire. Yet the stone house of these three idols lie barren and void and hungry. Retrieve the three fathomless flames from the crags behind us and ignite the crucibles. Visit the shrines in the deep and I will mark them. They will offer further guidance and I must provide. No more. I have been given so much power. <laughs> I was, someone warned me that the world may be in peril with me having a VTuber model now. <laughs> oh, this is actually kind of cool. Like we, weird cult shit like this always fascinate me because it's always just, driven and pulled from these weird points of vulnerability and seeking for answers. It, it's just in a similar way what you could generally regard how religion forms 
but because there was a predominant form of religion in a time where religion is already on its way out in a way, cults kind of just exist, and you never know that they exist. And this feels like them going, hey, hey, we know. We know how it feels. But it also could just be like uh, one of the H.P. Lovecraft adjacent stories. Still, it's, it's just some cool shit. Especially with the fucking Greco-Roman thing going on. Alright, what's our resources looking like right now? Oh, I could store this shit anywhere. Hell yeah. Okay, why am I getting rid of half of this? Uh, what's our... Is that a 15? That's a 14. Alright, there we go. Uh, we're gonna hit the rest button here. Oh, that's red! That's some red shit! Hello, bird. I, uh... Hmm. No, I'm good. There's a volcanic vent right there. There we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, let's just see if it looks any less spooky in the morning. Nope, looks worse. <laughs> <laughs> just the fucking fisherman getting on his boat and going, "No, nah, I think I'm good today. I got I already got I already got another religion I got to worry about." <laughs> There's something over here. Also, fun fact, it was either this or uh, Cult of the Lamb, and I have zero regrets picking this. <laughs> yes! Yeah, buddy, Catholicism's uh, terrifying enough. I'm good. <laughs> The fuck? Uh. Hmm. You approach a hooded figure. They are standing expectantly. Familiar red robes blowing in the wind. Fisherman. And the voice from the hood cuts through the humid air. Deliver the vessel. The hooded figure produces an old paper scroll. They point at, 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 it, uh, at a shape on it. A cusk eel. What are you selling? This volcanic biome shit is actually really fucking cool. The fuck was that? The hell? Oh, that's neat. They mix it up on some of these too. More than just like, hey, get the line in the green. We get fucking Sonic the Hedgehog QTEs, too. Neat! Uh, let's see. Lighthouse is over there. We're heading that way. 
Oh, fuck off. Oh, fuck off. All right. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Yeah, amazing. Outstanding. Perfect. All right. Well, we're not going to make it. So, uh, time for more terror. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I kind of just want to keep my head forward and hope for the best. Nope. I'm good. Oh! Oh! The fuck? Okay. Homie literally came up and just decked my ass. What the fuck? Uh, do not reduce fish stocks when catching with the rod. Oh, so these books are actually worth it. Okay, well. Um. No, fuck it, we ball. The fuck? Camera. Did our engine get damaged? Oh, that hit hard. Um. Oh. Now we good. I could do with that, please. Up into the jar where it's safe. Jesus fucking Christ. I shake my head, not slapping her starboard or larboard. Oh, that was some fucking damage. You know what? Have the infected fish. I don't give a fuck. Damn. Alright, we Gucci now. <laughs> yeah. Thank, thank you for letting him in. Possible horror or horror adjacent gaze. Uh, games, maybe disable the pipe. I might have to, because I'm pretty sure everybody's getting jump scared from that. I might, I might, I might disable that next time. <laughs> Though, it, like, if it's not bothering everyone, if, if I'm the only one that's getting bothered by it, I may leave it enabled and just go and just roll with it. No, we ballin', we ballin', we ballin', we ballin'. No, okay, as, as long as it's, like, not startling anyone else. Okay, okay. P for for Pumacam, we will disable it. Because if it's spooking more than just me, then I, I will respect that wish. Because, like, I absolutely... Absolutely get where that's coming from. Here, actually, I'm going to do that right quick. Because it, it is a little bit startling, I will admit. Or a little more than just startling. Like, it, it jumps me every single time. <laughs> Double down on fart. 
<laughs> just, just rename it to, to Fear Farts and just turn it down. I'm sorry, Puma Cam. Yeah, th this game does kind of go way harder on the horror aspect. Than it. Oh, I'm in a jar again. Uh, way ho uh, harder on the aspect uh, than I was admittedly expecting. And Sunless Sea is also another good one. But yeah, that one goes into the surrealism horror where it starts fucking with you. Like, fortunately, I actually know pretty well the uh, gameplay cycle of Sunless Sea. So there, it may be a lot of me just going, yeah, this is fine. I got this. No biggie. I may still stream it anyways, because it's, it's just a generally good game. Oh, yeah. Doing it in Outer Worlds because sensory stuff. Like, the fact you're going, uh, I, I, teeny, 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 tiny Outer Worlds spoilers. Just dealing with Bramble Star or the Bramble Deep. Like, I can totally see how that's just really difficult to deal with. Or Dark Bramble, sorry. You get what I mean, though. It's, it's the fucking bram the star with the giant Bramble. Like, the mysteries behind that even had me insanely uneasy because it was just a bunch of not knowing what's coming. Like, as amazing as uh, the Outer, uh, Outer Wilds is, it's just, yeah. It's, yeah, it's about like that. More salvage. A rotten mass lays down on this island, half hidden by the foliage. At its base, of an old boat is cracked into. Yeah. Two doubloons. Two doubloons. Or perhaps three doubloons. Three doubloons. Four doubloons. Can I get a five doubloons? Yo, these fucking salvage ships are literally what I'm in, in this shit for. Just fucking going and just fighting this shit. Let's fucking go. Is that another town? That is another town. Four doubloons. Is that a longboat? Yo, look at this fucking. Hey, wait a second. Anybody else getting weird vibes from this? Like, I'm not crazy, right? Okay. I, I, I feel like this is based on a painting. What? <laughs> I mean, the sea at large, it... Oh, hold up. Gimme, 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 mine, 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 mine! What the fuck? Is this like a water cyclone? Oh. Alright. What the fuck is that? Oh, there might be research.
Yes, it is research. Sick. I don't know what the fuck that is, but I'm gonna catch it. A wreckfish. Typically inhabiting caves and shipwrecks, these fish can grow big enough to eat small sharks. Yo, that's big. All right, well. Nah, I'm good. Without. We'll chill somewhere else. How is this much better? What is it? Yeah, fucking, fucking right. <laughs> you know what? On second thought, maybe the red light was a better idea. I've been trying to prepare a special meal for myself and my partner. Or for my partner. But I've been having some issues. Around here, we considered aged conger eels to be a particular delicacy. Fucking ink. <laughs> like some dude is just really tired of being there. Fucking ink fell! Or fucking fell! <laughs> Oh no, I got what you- I got what you mean! Oh, I'm fucking dim sometimes. So when it falls into the sea, someone yells, Fucking fell. Because it fell, oh my god. Becky. Fucking next level pun. God. You must say you that are rotting, but they're delicious if prepared correctly. Normally, we bury them in the ground and allow them to mature, but our dog keeps digging them up and eating them. Yeah, you're good, Nexus. I'm going to be wrapping up to myself here in a bit, actually. I can't raise the subject without spoiling the surprise. Can you bring me an Ange Congeriel? Yeah. Thank you. You'll be decidedly compensated. Are they goats? Hmm. I'm gonna have the holes and burrows within the cliffs themselves. I imagine they've been uh, fished out of the uh, around the edges, so you may have to venture into the passageways of the cliffs to find them. Oh, and did I mention that they only come out at ah? Oh. Fuck! No. Good luck! <laughs> catch ourselves, or, uh, or fishes ourselves. It's your own Nexus! Hope you had fun in the stream. Pretty much, uh. So we haven't, or yeah, we don't have much without buying any, but there's a merchant that travels around. She's usually anchored across the bay. She buys and sells almost anything, and she does repairs too. Anything else? Uh, me hitting the rest button. That's what else. How we looking on the book? How we looking on the map? Oh, that's quite a bit of map still. Damn, son!
This is just the immediate vicinity. Okay. We eat, a, we eat a special kind of fish often. It's called the nosy traveler. Just hearing that sentence, like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm fine. It was, you know, fucking mind your business. That's it. That's what I've been. That's what I heard. That's what I've been told. I'm gonna go out my way. <laughs> Gonna move the VTuber for a second here. Sure. Okay, we're good on that. Uh, I think I'm going mainly for the engines, though. Uh, we got two, so we can get refined outboard or twin prop. The nets we're not too concerned about. Uh, it's a hard call, actually. So I feel like the engine's gonna get the most out of what we're doing. But at the same time, we we came across something volcanic. So that's a hard fucking call. Holy shit. Uh, I don't know. What, what, what do you all think? Uh, engine, net, or rod? Because I can't really decide too well. Uh, the rod lets you catch more and different kinds of fish with better efficiencies. The engine lets you run away from horrors a lot faster. And the nets lets you catch while you move, I believe. I think. Hey, what, what do trawling nets do? I'd, I'd say gun if it's available, all things considered. I don't know, the net is, it seems to be occupying a pretty good space on that one. Yeah, you get everywhere faster, which means you do everything faster. Yeah, let's... Alright, let's do the refi refined outboard engine then. And... I keep saying I'm going to end stream, but I'm just like, no, I want to keep going. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun. Oh. See if she gives anything. Oh. Hello. Oh, hey there. You're a new face. A fisherman, I take it. Perfect. We should get along like house on fire. I'm sorry. I'm a traveler and a merchant, all rolled into one. If you have any fish to sell, I'll take them and board. Uh, take them on board and sell them at the next time I come down and come across. No, I don't think that's an actual saying, but you know what? <laughs> Likewise, I haul a small cargo of equipment between places. You're welcome to peruse the stock and see if there's anything you like that takes your fancy. Come see me when you're ready to trade. Hmm. Most of the gear is super heavy, so I don't offload it uh, at every pontoon. But come on, uh, come aboard and see what equipment we got for sale. Oh, sick. Okay, we could actually buy our engine here.
Uh, let's compare what we have currently. That is a 18 and a 15. Let's uninstall that, send you to storage, and get our outboard. Okay, cool, so it doesn't really matter the orientation, just that it's there. Oh, it actually is a saying, it just means to become fast friends. It's still sort of ominous. I think that's the entire point! <laughs> Or it makes you feel weirdly uncomfortable for, you know, reasons. Uh, I will enhance my light. Spend a lot of money here. And whatever the fuck this refined metal is, and some research parts. Sick. Alright, fish market. On this side of the pontoon, I'll buy fish. Or I'll buy fish you want to sell. I also keep a stock of crab pots. Neat! And the floating dock. Oh, that's the dry dock. Yeah, that's the upgrades to the boat. Which, ironically, we need wood. We have one. Whenever, so whenever, uh, whenever anyone says enhance, I'm reminded of the, the, the dumb trope or someone It's like, zoom in on, uh, zoom in on that picture and enhance. Kowalski, enhance that photo. Like that. <laughs> I might sell some of this older, weaker stuff. Keep the 14 and 15s and. Yeah, and then they do the impossible by actually doing that. Just like, rapid typing and then just... Done. <laughs> Alright, let's do a quick inventory management. Or not. All right, cool. We're all good on that one. And uh, let's make a quick goal of returning to the main port. I don't know what the fuck is going on over there. I don't want to find out. But let's see how our speed's going. Yeah, it's, it's about the same, but it's also like notably better look at this fucking marlin real quick fuck oh okay just gonna figure out how the fuck I'm gonna fit you on board. A sickly, pallid color coats the scales of this normally sleek and shiny fish. Cloudy eyes belial the disease spreading underneath. That's a sallow sailfish, something I quite frankly regret catching. We about to be running now. Please. I'm getting the fuck out of here. And then we'll wrap at the port here, because that's a good place to stop. <laughs> 
What the fuck? Y'all heard that, right? Somebody call him back. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> I can do without. Thank you. Hitting that res button. As the big old red piss beam goes into the sky for a little bit longer. And with here, we are going to... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, look at these fucking accessibility options. You can just set the colors. Yeah, no. Fucking props to this game. Look at this. Motion smoothing. That's very nice. Relaxed, relaxed fishing mode. Might take a bit longer, but uh, you'll always successfully complete the mini game. Radial menu. Chromatic aberrations. I never did check the actual control, like controls and stuff. Ah, that's neat. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. For real though, this time, uh, we're gonna wrap here. I'm gonna wrap here. I'm trying to find a way to get back to the menu. Oh, save and quit right there. Derp. All right. Okay. Gonna wrap it here. Uh, I gotta prep the outro real quick. The mash the escape or that. Yeah, hold up. Uh, no, stop! That's not applicable anymore! Quit it! I gotta correct a filter. No, stop, 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 stop. God damn it. All right. Uh, filters. What it? reality show where war, celebrities, and laser tipped battle axes come together in a zero G combat arena to the death. Not enough Dan, though. I actually considered having a joke Dan face added to this avatar. All right. No! Stop it! Quit it. Hold up. Hold up. I gotta unfuck the fucking automation. Uh, there we go. Give me a moment. I'm correcting so many things. Just rains down ten heads. <laughs> Look, I'm working on it. That's actually on uh the planned list. There's a number of things on the planned list that are coming. Okay, that's working now. That's no no, I could I could bring him into into to the fucking view now. And I'm going to do one more thing.
Doing this live on stream. Fuck it. No! I should I should have had this corrected before the uh start of stream. Okay, there we go. Pasta, stop stop walking in the frame, Pasta. No. You're you're off screen. You're not part of this. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thank you all so very much for watching. This was an incredibly anxious thing to start, and then the fact that everything worked mostly okay is genuinely the best this stream has ran ever. And I think it's weird that the, the VTuber debut was the one that had the smoothest stream. There were so, so little problems that were just crashes it was more just like oh this thing's broken but that's fine this thing needs tweaking that's just because it's a thing like it just needs to be corrected uh but yeah holy fuck thank you all so very much for watching i hope y'all enjoyed the stream uh i gotta get my buttons back up it, if i don't stream tomorrow uh I'll be spending the, the rest of the week up until Thursday doing mostly optimizations with things, getting some stuff sorted out, uh, potentially buying something extremely cheap that lets me have my stream deck in a better spot where I could just rest my hand and quickly get to it uh, to change the expressions more. But yeah, thank you so very much for watching, genuinely. Uh, hope you all enjoyed the the debut and me picking what is effectively the most tense fucking horror game we, I have. Uh, there will probably be more of this next time. If if not, it will be Cult of the Lamb, which will be a little less horror and more cutesy. But we'll see how things go. Thank you so very much for watching. Have a good night and stay true to yourselves, everybody. Oh, wait, quick. Shout outs. I got to sort through all the, the point redeems. Ah. Lana Cat, thank you for the gift sub, tier one, and the re, uh, prime resub. Piffledoodle thank, Piffle Doodle, thank you for the follow. That's the artist who actually did the PNG avatar, the PNG tuber avatar. Uh, go support her. Her art is amazing, and uh, she absolutely killed it with this avatar. Uh, Zofia Marie, all the bits that filled the jar. Becky. <laughs> Becky, also you more adding bits to the jar. Thank you so very much. Lemony Fresh, thank you for the follow. Uh, Becky again, more bits, more bits. Bite Size Sailor, thank you for the follow. And, oh my god, I'm still going through more. There's another one I saw. And it disappeared. Oh my god, Alana Cat, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Alright, oh, that was so fucking fun. Alright, have, uh, have a good night, everybody, and stay true to yourselves. I, well, fucking, I, if I missed anybody, I don't know. The, the activity feed cycled people out at the bottom. I actually... <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, no, I genuinely, like... This is the first time I've ever seen the activity feed cycle s enough out where I can't see any anybody who followed in between, like, this stream and last stream. Which makes me absolutely over the fucking moon right now. Thank y'all so very much. Uh, oh, uh, da ender, un, da underscore ender, thank you for the follow uh, three days ago. And I think that's pretty much it. Once again, thank you all so very much. Uh, I will keep y'all posted if I do another stream tomorrow. It may just be mo mostly me focusing on tweaks and corrections to make things a little bit more smooth. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyways, have a good night, everybody, and stay true to yourselves.
Sorry, I'm having fun with that. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I literally just started doing Dog of Wisdom live on stream. <laughs> Anyways, see y'all next time.